Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Bed with Benhine podcast. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a Chinese subscriber, hey. <laughs> hey boo, what it do? So I just want to say, okay, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> I said to myself that if I hit 1,000, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, but I'm so chilled. Like, I'm so chilled. Like, I don't even know how to act. Um, but I just wanna say that thank you. I'm grateful and um, welcome to every new person that is here. My name is Akusia. This is what I do and this is what I love to do. Okay. <laughs> Does this house fly here? It's driving me insane this is one thing that i really don't like about spring and summer because all the insects are all over the place like goodness anyway so oh my god oh my god i'm so sorry guys such disrespect <laughs> i know she's gonna come around again because of the lights i don't know i feel like she's attracted to the light i don't even know how she got into um she got into my apartment but whatever hey, um welcome this is the bed with behini podcast um i'm a millennial mom i started this podcast to help me and other moms out there um to just navigate life um share my experiences with you guys so if you're new here i just want to say you're welcome i am very appreciative okay i am so grateful to have all of you guys here thank you guys so much for coming and i hope that you do stay i hope you like the vibes and <laughs> um so in today's episode in last week's episode though we talked about um, manifestation how to manifest and build a dream and just you know have that manifestation going so how to manifest your best possible life or how i have been able to manifest some of the things um that i have been able to manifest in my life and i love that episode so if you haven't already seen that please definitely um check that out when you're done with this one of course because why are you going <laughs> when you're done with this one but in today's episode i'm talking everything friendship red flags i'm so happy this is actually an episode that i curated from um points that i picked from people you know from not just people people that i know these are going to be things that when you see in a friend or when you see in someone that you call a friend this is a red flag okay or at least for the people um for the people who think that this is a red flag this is coming from people um that i asked so i'm just gonna go into it i'll share with you what um i personally what my friendship red flags would be because i have a thing or two and then i have a few people who also decided to share this because i felt like it would be interesting to hear from other people honestly the whole idea was that i felt like this would be really interesting to hear other people say because i didn't really have a lot of things to say because sometimes you really don't have a lot of things to say about one particular topic and then you want to hear from other people so um friendship red flags i really wanted to hear from generally different people People from different views and I'm excited to share everything that people said okay my personally my um, a big thing for me is a friend who doesn't know how to communicate or who basically runs away from like communication you know I feel like friendship with friendship everything is communication um, with generally every relationship but also mainly with friendship I feel like sometimes people shy away from communication because people feel like well you're not entitled to ask me any question or well I'm, we're both adults so you know nobody is really entitled to answer questions but sometimes it's not really about having to answer questions um, but it's being able to hold each other accountable um, you know it's being able to feel free to communicate as and when we need to and even though we're both adults we know that communication is how we're going to go around things and i need people who understand that you know so if if you don't like factor in communication in our friendship i feel like that's a huge red flag for me because i don't have time to be like holding on to issues and we're not talking about it like we have to talk about stuff i don't know i don't know how i'm not going to talk to you about stuff like if i'm not talking to you about anything i 
just don't care about you like i can't be bothered that's just what what it is right if like i really really care about you i will talk to you about stuff so communication for me is a huge point okay and then the next point from uh, my colleague and my friend awek kiara she said that uh, one of her biggest friendship red flag is a friend who is clingy or clingy i don't know how people are saying that is it clingy or clingy i don't know but she said she she likes a friend who um understands that even though we're friends you still give me my space you respect that this this is my space and i respect that this is your space um you don't want a friend that's like all up in your business every single time this you know there's days like that but then you also need somebody who understands that this is your space um and you know knows when to chip in and when not to chip in you know what i'm saying so i feel like that was also like a really good point and it's something that she actually always said so i was like you know what it's actually um cool to include it and then i asked and she said the same thing again so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna add that point so comment below let me before i even go on because again this is like a popular opinion of what a friendship red flag would be so what do you think your friendship red flag is like what well, to you what is that one thing that when you see with a friend um or about to be friend you're like you know what no this is a red flag for me i'm not even gonna go there or a friend that you've been with for a long time and then you see this you're like you know what you've been doing this and i think that it's a red flag for me i don't think that i can keep living with this so comment below i really want to know what is that one red flag um that you think for you is like a friendship red flag i want to know all right the next point was from my my baby girl my friend imani um you guys have seen imani we actually have a video together um which i will link up here for you guys if you want to check that out but imani also said that she doesn't like a friend who is envious she actually said she doesn't like a friend who is envious and i asked her like how would you know if your friend envies you because i don't think that i've ever thought I, I don't think i've ever actually thought of the fact that you could have a friend who envies you like what would you see about someone that makes you see that they envy you and she actually explained this right here so let me go into it and like read what she said from here so she says so basically it could be a bunch of signs like anytime you talk about something you may have or want they make it a point to get it for themselves too everything you everything must always be about them they are always trying to be better at something than you so if it's hitting something comment below and let me know because that is actually a good point um there are people like that okay there are people who are always trying to be the better person than you it's like a competition instead of a friend and when there's an energy like that you obviously always feel it it doesn't that is not sisterhood i know sometimes you might mistake in certain things as like oh that's like somebody who's trying to be a sister or sometimes you know we're twinning sometimes sometimes a person is not only twinning all be careful <laughs> like i'm just saying i'm just saying you know you definitely want to watch out for these signs um because people um a lot of people are dealing with a lot of like self-esteem issues and you know just self-identity crisis and stuff like so you definitely want to associate yourself with people who have the same vibe that you have or good vibes or you know just good energy that you want to keep around um and i feel like adulthood friendships is honestly a huge topic these days that's why i keep coming back to it um and like just finding different ways to talk about it because um when you get to this stage like your late 20s and your early 30s and whatever it's almost impossible to actually find real people in this um uh, in this life so i feel like it's a topic that we have to talk about especially as black sisters like there's always this like gatekeeping um there's always some sort of competition I don't know if you guys have noticed that there's, there's always some sort of competition there's always somebody wanting to be better than you are or somebody not wanting to like 
you know share something with you because they don't want you to exactly um be a better version you know than they are um you definitely want to watch out for all these signs jackie also my friend and colleague from WEC, and she also said that a huge point for her is a friend who is constantly complimenting your man <laughs> And I'm like, I had never even thought about that, you know, but that is also such a big red flag because like, why are you even talking about my man? Like, that's literally what I said. Like, immediately when she said that's what I typed back to him. Like, why are you even talking about my man? Like, sis, respect yourself. I'm not about to talk about your man. Why are you talking about my man? Like, why are you trying to praise my man? Like, let's not do that. Let's not have this conversation in this room, <laughs> you know? And if you have someone in your life who... No, no, that's a huge red flag. Um, that is a very big red flag. You respect yourself. I respect myself. Your man is your man. My man is my man. We're staying in our business. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but oh, that's a huge red flag. You you definitely want to um, look out for them. I'm sure a lot of girls know by now that you don't want to have anybody around you who is constantly in the business of like your relationship too much, you know, um, except if this is a friend who, you know, you know, some friends you've had for way too long, like your sister friend kind of thing, then it's different. Um, this is somebody that you have have. Um, but also sometimes there are some people who just don't have to be in that kind of business for you, you know, so look out for all those signs. And then another thing that Jackie also mentioned was a friend, um, like a friend who in the very early stages of your friendship starts to ask you for stuff. Like it could be anything, but just starts to ask you for stuff. Can I borrow your this? Can I borrow your that? In the very early stages of the friendship, like a few months into the friendship, when you guys are just trying to like build stuff, you know, I that might not be a huge red flag for a lot of people, but um, I think that that is something also a little shaky, you know. I don't exactly have a big, big, big problem with that, even though if it's like too much if like you're asking too much or if you're asking every day then it's a problem for me um especially if i mean if i know that you don't have it and you're struggling or you, you know you need help in this area of your life and i have it of course i'll give you i don't have a problem with that but also i mean that's jackie's point let me just say that it's not my point so let me not try to explain it too much but that's her point so that is um a few points that i curated from my girls that i have around um work and like personal life right now and i felt like that would really be interesting to share with you guys because it just hit me i'm like you know what are actually some of the red flags out there right now because i am big on communication it's something that i always say if we cannot communicate in any form of setting especially as friends especially as adults friends when i have two kids if i have a home to be making and i have content to film i have goals to be chasing and you have same for yourself so i don't think that we really have time to not communicate about anything you know i feel like we don't have time to do that so no <laughs> so um this episode is going to be you know very fast straight to the point i want you guys to comment below share with me what your red flags are friendship red flags are um what is that thing for you that you feel like you know i don't want this in my life i don't have time to deal with this right now or when i see this in a friend is definitely a no no or something that i'm not willing to deal with deal or no deal we're not dealing with this so comment below share that with me let me know all right i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching today's episode um i will see you guys in next week's episode don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram hit the like button so that youtube knows that you like the video so um they're able to share the content with other people all right and then also share with a friend if you feel like there's something in here that i have to share with my friend okay share it with your friend let them have it and i love you guys I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.